I'd like to welcome you all to the event that we're hosting this evening, um, which is a real opportunity for us to engage and talk with our local employers. This event has been partly funded by a contract called The Edge, and it's a contract that we're delivering on behalf of the Skills Funding Agency. To you and I, it's, called, it's about free training. If I was speaking to the SFA, I would call it funded training. But essentially what it means is us as a college can actually provide free training to you, our employers, and to the staff that you employ. We hear a lot of talk about the um, fab labs, etc., on the West Coast. But in actual fact, what you've got here is a super fab lab. So try and find out more about us tonight and I hope to see more of you around college. What we need to try and do, we need to try and make sure that the small businesses become part of, and, and even more so than, than at present, become part of the supply chain for the bigger organisations um, in, in the area. So that together, big businesses, small businesses alike, we can all move forward in the future to benefit from this investment, to grow the area, and make sure that we are an economic success. My name is Kirsty, I was on Dragon's Den in 2010. I suppose I'm most well known for crying in front of 8 million people um, on the BBC. Entrepreneurs are sometimes born that way, I'm not sure. Um, it's still a, a debate that's ongoing. I think for me it was more out of necessity than anything else. One evening I came back from working in a bar um, it was summer, I picked my baby up out of the cart, gave him a big kiss, put him back down and then something happened and I, I didn't realise what was going on but um, his whole little body was in just a nappy. His whole body just became covered in a rash and um, I didn't understand it, I had no idea and his breathing got shallower and shallower and thankfully my mum being a nurse and um, kept him alive until the ambulance came and it was discovered that night they'd had an anaphylactic shock to me, um, having eaten nuts in a bar and then kissed him. Um, and that was the day that my whole, um, my whole outlook on life changed. And um, yes, I became a nutritionist and I was fascinated by food and by free from food and gluten free food, dairy free food. And when my son got to two years old, two and a half, he wanted ice cream, as all children do. But my son had a dairy allergy as well, so he couldn't have normal ice cream. So I started making it for myself and then decided that the only thing I could do was to think bigger. And so I decided that Tesco were next. It all went great. And he said to me, you know, how quickly can you get this ready for 450 stores? And I thought, how the hell am I actually going to do this? Um, I was a master blogger at this point and um, I really needed to put some substance into this. And so the only other option I thought was Dragon's Den. How hard can that be? I walked onto the stage and stood on the cross in the middle of the, the floor. And I do not know how I managed to get my three minute pitch out, but I did. And then the office came in and I negotiated a, for an extra 5% equity, the two dragons together for 30%, which I thought was pretty good. And even though we sold a million tubs within the first year, um, there was one little thing that we did wrong that turned into a massive thing and on the back of the pack, I didn't even realise this had been put on before it got printed, but on the back of the pack it said produced in a factory that handles nuts um, and you may think that sounds normal but for an allergy free brand it's the worst thing you can write when you're, um, <laughs> you're nodding because you know. <laughs> Um, and as a mother of a child with a nut allergy, that was possibly the worst thing that I could have done. Um, and I got absolutely crucified for it. So, um, that day I decided that I was going to stop, one day I decided I was going to stop production, I wasn't going to make it again. And um, I was going to give up on it. But I was working on something in the background, I was working on rebuilding the brand. And we now produce ready meals and it's been doing incredibly well. We're really getting our brand back to where it should have been in the first place, which was honest and integral, and, and I feel like we're nearly there now. And thank you very much.
Risk taking is what I do because I just think you have to. You have to step out of your comfort zone. That's where the magic happens. You have to take risks and take chances. Otherwise, you're just going to plod along. To be so, as young as Kirsty and to do it is fantastic. And I think inspiration, nothing else you can say. Come and see, come to more of these events. <laughs> Absolutely superb. What a, um, a refreshing um, young person to, to listen to. It's been absolutely amazing. The college is beautiful, the views are amazing and the event was so well organised and it was just a pleasure and I'm delighted I came and made the time in my diary to come. When you run a business we all go through those stages and I think if you see the businesses that, are, that have made it as a success to know that they've actually gone through similar experiences to the ones that we're going through or we've been through I, I think it's really reassuring in that sense as well. I think it's very important to share experiences as an SME. Uh, we all have difficulties, we all have good times and bad times and Business is a roller coaster. And it's good to know that other people are on that journey as well. I think if you're going to stand there and you're going to, you've got a successful business and you want to tell that story, you have to tell the whole story. Don't work otherwise.